border of Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and even Honduras. deep in the tropical scrublands around the edges of the rainforest lives a creature hidden in the brush for millennia. This is the curly-haired tarantula. scientifically referred to as the Chilicado albopilosis, commonly called the curly hair. This specific tarantula is affectionately named Kira. Kira began her life as one of hundreds of spiderlings to emerge from her mother's egg sac no larger than a few centimeters in diameter. After a few molts, Kira has grown enough to strike out on her own, to begin exploring the world around her and find a burrow she can call home. Life as a young tarantula out on their own is a very treacherous existence. She is surrounded by predators that would love to make her their next meal. Like scorpions. Birds. Reptiles. And even other tarantulas. Instinctually, she knows to find a small crevice or dig a hole to make a burrow where she can safely hide. Sheltered from the bright sun of the day and concealed from roaming predators in search of prey. She is perfectly positioned to pounce on any unsuspecting insects that venture too close to the mouth of her burrow. With good instincts and a lot of luck, Kira has survived the hardest first few years of life. Juvenile, she looks a lot like her adult counterparts. But she is still less than half their size, as adults can grow to have a leg span up to nearly six inches. The next few years will be a struggle avoiding predators from both the ground and the sky. as well as dealing with the seasonal flooding that comes every year. These floods can leave her exposed on the side of trees, seeking refuge from the rising water. But thousands of years of honing their survival skills, curly-haired tarantulas instinctively know when to seek higher ground as the floods move in.
They have also evolved an extremely sensitive sete that is able to perceive the slightest changes in air movement, alerting them of any approaching threats or prey. These golden hair-like sete cover nearly their entire exoskeleton and are some of the longest sete of any species of tarantula. Despite having eight eyes, their eyesight is not very good, but they can see movement and make out shadows and light, which helps them detect any birds or other airborne predators that might be flying above. With each passing year in the jungle scrublands, Kira battles not only the apex predators that share her environment, but the humans that constantly encroach on her land. Roads, logging, urban development, and the removal of primary forest for farming and other uses has drastically changed the forest this species has called home for hundreds of thousands of years. Curly-haired tarantulas also now have to avoid controlled burns, pesticides, vehicles on the roads, and heavy equipment clearing acres of forest a day. They simply cannot adapt as fast as their environment is changing. But possibly the biggest threat to Kira and other curly-haired tarantulas is the tarantula hawk. These aren't actually hawks, but wasps with a very powerful venom that sting tarantulas and paralyze them. Then they drag them back to their nest or burrow that they have dug. But they aren't going to eat the tarantula. They prefer to feed on the nectar of flowers like milkweed. Sometimes they even suck on the fermented juices of rotting fruit, which gets them kind of drunk. But the tarantula hawk has something much more sinister in mind right now. They immobilize tarantulas so they can bring them down into their nest, where they lay their eggs on the paralyzed spider. So when the larvae hatch, they can feed on the still living tarantula. After a few weeks, these babies emerge as adults and the cycle begins again. Against all odds, Kira has survived another year in the Costa Rican dry forest. She has avoided the wasps and reptiles, survived the rising waters, and adapted to the encroachment of humans. She realizes now that she is an adult, that she has become a guardian of her rainforest home. A symbol of resilience and adaptability in the face of sudden change. The jungles of Central America, especially in Costa Rica, represent nearly 5% of all species known worldwide. with over half a million species of animals. Over 300,000 of which are invertebrates like arachnids and insects. 
The curly-haired tarantula is just one of the many species in Central America's web of life. But Kira and tarantulas like her embody the harmony between all living creatures and the cycle of life and death. Not just in the jungles of Central America, but across our entire planet.